Hey guys, thanks for clicking on the video. It really means a lot. Before we continue, did you guys know only 0.1% of people that watch my videos are actually subscribed? So if you like the video, consider subscribing. It's free. Enjoy the video. So recently I've been having problems with my PFSense box. And um, for the past six days, I've been trying to uh, basically just get to work. Uh, I had a problem where the, the LAN, uh, I wasn't able to access the LAN IP for some reason. Um, it's been overheating. Uh, it's getting laggy. It's slow. There's been a bunch of things that's been going on with it. And for people who's looking for the solutions, I'm going to be addressing them. If these are problems that you're uh, coming across uh, using PFSense, I'm going to be addressing them in the video and uh, be hopefully telling you guys how to fix them because they work for me and hopefully they work for you as well. So um, without further ado, let's uh, let's get started so the first problem that I had so far with uh, the PF sense box was the problem with uh, the LAN and WAN IP configuration so for some particular reason I wasn't been I'm not able before I wasn't able to access the LAN IP configuration for some reason don't know why and I watched a bunch of videos I looked all over the internet and I came across uh, uh, a video which basically said that if uh, even if you aren't using the WAN or the LAN, if you're using just the WAN and not the LAN, you need to, you have to configure both because if you don't, then you won't be able to access either. And that to me seems like a big oversight because what if I'm only using the LAN configuration and I don't need to set up and I don't want to set up a WAN? That could be cause for security concerns, you know. It could be a bunch of problems, but particularly, it's a uh, it's a simple fix that should have uh, easily been implemented. But um, yeah, that's one of the problems. So if you're not able to access the LAN or the WAN configuration, just make sure that if you have one configured, make sure you configure the other one. So for my uh, IP configuration for this. Um, for example, if I had 192.168.1.1 as the gateway for the LAN, I need to configure the the WAN to something like 192.168.1.50. That's what I need to basically configure it as to make sure that uh, I'm able to access the LAN. To address the second problem that I was having, the overheating. So uh, in these particular um, watch guard boxes uh, this one is an extensible um, email or I forget the name of it I'll put it on the screen but basically it's a uh, it used to be an email server I believe or a appliance I'm, I'm not entirely sure but basically it's overheating and uh, the reason for that is that there's an actual CPU on the inside of it it's an E5300 I believe I'll put that on the screen. I'll put the specs and everything on the screen for you guys to see. Basically, it was overheating, and um, I changed the thermal paste in the past before, but um, and I also I actually took the the stock fans out, which made a lot of noise, and replaced them with much more quieter ones. And I thought that was the problem, but it actually wasn't the problem. It was um, I was, I thought it was uh, the fans, but it was just it seemed to be the thermal paste because after I replaced the thermal paste, it fixed the problem immediately. Uh, so if you have overheating problems, replace the thermal paste, and you shouldn't have any more problems. Uh, my last, last but not least, the lagginess of PFSense. So from what I've been hearing over uh, a lot of Reddit threads about people using PFSense is one of the problems with it is uh, the lagginess over time. So recently I just tried to do an upgrade and it just failed miserably. And um, in the Previously, I've upgraded before and you know, I saw some it started to get slower You know the the beeps and tones when you uh, boot up the boot up PF sense for the first time during uh, Like cuz I don't I don't normally keep my rack on all the time. I usually turn it off when I'm not using it and um, The boot up was uh, the beeping like it would if you know what I'm talking about It was really really slow and usually it's a continuous beeping, but this one it was uh, It was really slow taking his time with the beeps 
So um, if you know what I'm talking about, then you, you'll know. But um, basically, the problem was is that I think over time when you install or upgrade PFSense over time, and you don't, uh, and it's not like a fresh install, it will continuously get slower. And I think that's a fragmentation uh, on the hard drive, I think, because it's, uh, I've been seeing a lot of uh, people with a, a lot of the same problems. And uh, the reason why I believe it's a fragmentation problem is that, um, well, uh, after I cleaned the drive using disk part and Windows, and I installed PSSense, everything sped right back up. It was amazing. It, everything was working miraculously, like it was a fresh new box. So I believe that after so many times of upgrading and reinstalling PFSense, you need to clean the entire drive out and change, basically, you need to clean the entire drive out and reinstall PFSense and that will basically make it new again if you keep stalling, installing things on top of it, reinstalling it, I believe that becomes a fragmentate, it starts to frag, fragment the uh, the drive. I'm not sure that I'm using the correct term for that, but uh, in Windows, there's a, a tool that you can use called defragmentation tool. And it's a way to optimize uh, hard drives to uh, decrease fragmentation over time. Drives, they become fragmented and you can use that tool to defragment them and basically speed them back up to what they were before you basically uh from what over time i've thought from me using it i believe it's just uh taking information so sectors of information which was misplaced i guess and it's basically um putting that information back where it was before so it's easier to find it if i'm if i'm not wrong don't take my word on it but uh uh, but um, yeah, those are the problems that I've been having with PF since uh, with this box and I've uh, so far It's working fine. Uh, I'm not gonna turn it off for you guys because it's pretty late at night and the server is pretty loud but um It's working amazing now if you have any of these problems uh, I'll post everything down below in the description on what you need to do to fix these problems and um, and you guys will be able to uh, Hopefully fix those problems if you ever come across them Hopefully, I addressed everything that you guys uh, had, all the questions that you had, hopefully. But uh, but that's it. I want to thank you guys for watching the video. It really means a lot. It helps out the channel wondrously. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. Um, yeah, well, that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you guys for watching the video. And I'll see you in the next one.